What up, YouTube? Big Lou, Big Lou's Coach Review, back here with another review, and that's right, today we're not going to be doing a review, but I'll tell you this, what we are going to be doing is we're going to be doing a little intro of products I'm going to be doing releases on videos on. Now, lately I've been doing more of like, you know, reviews on clickbait products on Instagram and Facebook, like, you know, because right now they're just blowing up with advertising for like new products that are out and coming out and becoming products and so forth and a lot of its subscription services so I'm gonna give you reviews on that type of product and everything but I don't want you to worry I still have a ton of vaping products to review and it's not that I've abandoned my channel I really haven't in all honesty I've been working a lot you know my schedule for work I sell cars for a living so I work at a Kia dealership and it's very demanding the hours I have and it leaves me with no time to do anything really. So I'm gonna try my best to release product video reviews. Now, recently I picked up the Dot .RBA, okay? So this is the Dot .RBA for the Dot .AIO for Dot .Mod. Now, I love this device. I use it at work. I use it while I'm driving. I use it while I'm at home. It's a great little device, and I usually use iced or mentholated fruit flavors in it of a little bit higher of a nicotine dosage. Nothing too high, though. I make my own flavors, so, um, you know, I'm making, like, apple menthol, mango menthol, you know, and it's uh, probably, like, a five or four and a half milligram nicotine dosage. I'm not required... I don't have a need for like 12 or six milligram nicotine in these AIO devices. But I will be releasing a video on that. And I recently picked up their limited edition uh, white dot AIO. So I purchased this recently and I'm looking forward to unboxing and reviewing it. Still has plastic on it, so I haven't opened it. And I had purchased this recently as well. Now in this, AIO that I have here, I have the dot shell. So we'll do a comparison on the dot shell tank as well as the dot AIO RBA from dot mod, okay? And we'll also do a comparison on the coils that are provided with the device and see how those, uh, how those pair up uh, against the RBA and the rebuildable deck atomizer on the dot shell. I also picked up the uh, Pyro, uh, the Pyro 4 RDTA. So this is by Vandy Vape. I got that as well. And I recently picked up the Bushido V3 RDA as well. All right. So I got the Bushido in gunmetal, uh, black and gunmetal. And this is going to be a nice bottom feeding RDA for uh, my Squonk devices, which I have a Vandy Vape. Squonk device, which I'm going to be reviewing as well. So I have a lot of products still to review. I just need you guys to hang in there. Be patient. I know it's been a long time. It's been like eight months to almost a year since I last put out a review video on a vape product. But to be honest, I don't have the watching subscribers anymore. I think the last vape review I put out, I had maybe a total of 300 views. So a lot of people aren't looking to me for review videos anymore, which I'm okay with, okay? I'm totally all right, but I'd like to transition to this, this channel to be able to review everything. This way you guys get to see more of me, whether it's I'm reviewing food or clickbait products or the newest trending product or whatever the case is, I can still offer my opinion on stuff. If it is valued to most of you guys out there, or if you just like seeing me as a persona or character here on YouTube, and this is who I am, guys. You know, <laughs> this is who I am. I may not have the chin hair at the moment. You know, I noticed once I shaved my chin hair off, my, uh, my income has increased. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it seems to be a good thing for now. So um, I'll probably grow it back in the future for those who like seeing me with a beard and think I look weird without it. But, um, you know, this is how I've been lately. I've been focused on trying to make a living for myself. And since the vape industry had not provided a living for me, for some people it has. They've become very wealthy off of it. You know, you got guys like Mike Vapes. He's got RDAs and 
boxes and mods and this and that and he's made very good money off the industry over the years not including his sponsors and all that other stuff so you know he does make a good living off of youtube me i've never made a living off of youtube whatever i've done it's usually because i purchased a product and just wanted to review it so i do it at my own will not because i have to you know what i mean there's a difference there some people have to do reviews because it's their it's their income you know that's just have there's no other way around that. It's, it's, it's their livelihood. This is what they do for a living. Uh, I would have loved to have made it a living of mine, but I, I really can't. I can't afford it because, you know, I, I just don't have the subscriber base and I just don't have the demand, you know. So, um, so what I'm doing basically is, like I said, I'm working a lot. I have a ton of responsibilities. I'm getting more and more responsibilities. So it's been a little tough releasing videos, but I do plan on releasing a bunch of videos. I did pick up a Kong RDA, I picked up a couple Immortal mods, a couple Immortal RDAs and so forth. So I've got product to review, which I will and will release. Um, does it seem pointless to me to review vaping products? Yes, it does seem pointless at this point because some people can't even purchase them online and have it mailed to them. That's why it seems pointless to me. That's why I don't really, you know, put out videos anymore because I knew this was going to happen with the whole mailing industry and so forth and so forth. And when I was speaking, nobody was listening. So now we're all suffering. Okay. So, uh, moving forward on a more positive level, um, I'm going to be putting out some videos. So stay, keep your ear close to the ground. I'll see you guys soon. All right. Peace.